From Arizona State, 6-3, number 12, Lafayette Lever. Fat Lever entered the NBA in 1982, and by the mid-late 80s had established himself as one of the most dynamic and versatile guards in the league, a player that could affect the game and, and sporadically even dominate the game in a variety of different ways. He could score, averaging just shy of 20 points per game during his peak seasons with a career single season best of 19.8, and a career average over his 11 season NBA career of 13.9 points per game. Fat Lever comes down, spots up and fires, good right this. He could be a distributor, averaging as many as 8 assists per game in his best season, and having a career average of over 6.2 assists per game. He could affect the game defensively, averaging as many as 2.7 steals per game with a career average of over 2.2. Sparrow, top of the circle, backs it out, 14 to shoot. Here's a pass stolen by Lever, intended for Jordan. Denver's back three on one. Alex English open shot, good for Duke. And despite being only 6'3, he could have a big impact as a rebounder. His career single season best was 9.3 rebounds per game, and he had a career average of over 6 rebounds per game for his 11 year career. Up shooting, missing, rebound cleared by Lever. He's got about five rebounds already. His importance to the Denver Nuggets is easily apparent. Between 1984 and 1990, he led the team in both assists and steals all six seasons. Between 1986 and 1990, he led the Nuggets in scoring one season and was second on the team in scoring the other three years. And he actually led the Nuggets in rebounding three of those four years and was a close second on the team the other year between 1986 and 1990, he had cumulative averages of 18.9 points, 8.9 rebounds, 7.5 assists, and 2.5 steals, and only 2.1 turnovers, I might add. He led the league in triple doubles in the 86-87 season, came in second in the league the following year, and third in the league the year after that. And this in an era that boasted other triple double machines such as Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, and Michael Jordan. In fact, during those four seasons, he was arguably the best player on a Denver Nuggets franchise that had the great Alex English on its roster. And yet, for all of that, he was rarely recognized in his own time. During that same four-year span, he received only one All-NBA Second Team honor and was only invited to the All-Star Game twice, the most notable snub coming in the 1988-89 season when he averaged a career-best 19.8 points, a career-best 9.3 rebounds, a career-best 2.7 steals, and 7.9 assists for a team that won 44 games and made it to the playoffs. Yet he received no All-NBA honors and no All-Star invitation. To this day, Fat Lever remains the only player in NBA history to average more than six rebounds, six assists, and two steals for his entire career. But in spite of all of this, and despite the fact that it really wasn't that long ago that he played, he remains a player that most casual fans probably have not even heard of. But Fat Lever is likely one of the 150 greatest players of all time.